Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are solving a problem all people report to the given manager. This is a table known as employee with column names employee ID, employee name and the manager ID. And we need to find out the list of employee IDs. So let's just read the problem statement. Write an SQL query to find the employee ID of all employees that directly and indirectly report their work to the head of the company. The indirect relation between the managers will not exceed three managers as the company is small. Return the result in any order without duplicates. So uh, let's try to understand how we can proceed with this. So here you can here you can see is that the head of the company is the employee with employee ID one. That means we can say that he is the boss of the company and he is the manager of employee ID 2 and 77 the employee with employee ID 2 and 7 reports directly to the head of the company so that means 2 is the manager and 77 is also the manager but if you notice here that 2 is the manager of 4 but 77 is not become the manager in, is in is not in the manager list so that means that he is not the manager of anyone that means he is just an employee he's just an employee now if you notice here that 2 is the manager of 4 so that means it, as the indirect relation goes on 4 can be considered as a manager and he is the manager of employee 7 so now the one thing we have to notice here is The indirect relation between the managers will not exceed three managers. So you will understand this one by solving the problem. Now, let me quickly run this one. Let me insert the values. Now, let's just print all the employee IDs whose manager is one. So we can select um, employee ID from here manager id equals to 1 so this gives me the result of all the employee ids whose manager is 1 so we get the employee id 1 as well 2 and 77 so as, a, as i told you that 77 is just an employee and 1 is the boss of the company and we are looking for an indirect relationship that means we can consider 2 as a manager right now so that means the count of managers is 1 so we can again query this result set to find the employees with employee ID 1, 2 and 77 that means we can do select employee ID from employees Employees, where manager ID in this result set. So now, if I run this one, you can see that I got the employee IDs one, two, four, and seventy-seven. So as I told you that one is the boss and seventy-seven is just an employee. So the count of managers becomes two right now. That is two and four. And he said that we cannot exit more than three managers. That means we can again make a relationship, indirect relationship on this query. That means we can apply a select employee ID from employees where manager ID in this whole query set. You run this with the results, and in the result set is mentioned the employee ID 1, 2, 4, 7, and 77. So, as I told you, that 1 is the boss of the company, and 77 is just an employee. So, we get the three managers 2, 4, and 7. That means we cannot again make any relationship because it's already been three managers. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me 
and we we don't need the boss in the result set so we can do and employee id not equals to that means this gives us the result set there you go so you got the employee id 247 and 77 277 4 and 7 it's mentioned here in the problem we can print the results in any order without duplicates hope you understand the query please practice it thank you so much for joining have a good day